Hello all. This is uh <laughs> this is Dark Girl. I know it's been like a year since I've done any videos or anything. I just I have not had the time. Um time is at a premium right now because I started school again and um I went back to school. I decided to start going back to school. And getting another degree. So I'm working on my second degree. Um, I have a, just a brief history. I have um, my original degree is in journalism. In print journalism to be specific. Uh, from the University of South Carolina. Because I'm a Gamecock. I was born and raised in Columbia, South Carolina. So like I'm going to get a degree from there. <laughs> So I got a degree from there, and I graduated in 2003 with my bachelor's, um, and then I went out in the world, I did stuff, I worked for various newspapers, and then um, I decided once I moved back home after my divorce and to take care of my mom, she and I had already talked about me going back to school and doing something different because I couldn't get a degree. I couldn't get a, I'm sorry, I couldn't get a job in what it was I was wanting to do. So I was like, uh, I need a degree in something else. Um, so it was a toss up between getting a master's in, um, library and information sciences, which I didn't really want to do, um, or just pursuing a degree in something else. So as luck would have it, I started doing billing for a company, which I work for now, which, of course, by now you guys know, um, I don't talk about where I work on camera for various reasons. Um, <laughs> chief among them, I, I don't want to get fired. So, um, I work there now still. Uh, it's been two and a half years uh, since I started working there and I moved back home and so, I figured now was the time to get started on that second degree and start working on that. So that's what I've done. Um, I've been going to school since August. Um, I go to school here in Columbia and I actually attend class like I'm there in class and um, like at school. I don't do online or anything like that. I figured that first semester back after... I hadn't been in school for 13 years. I figured I kind of needed to attend class um, just to get back into the swing of things, getting used to doing school again. And um, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it. So my semester is over and I'm actually majoring in um, accounting because that's pretty much what I do for my company. I am a billing agent and clerk. So Basically, I make sure people get their bills on time, and I make sure that we get paid our money for um, doing various things for other companies. So, um, and that's that's the best I can describe it without getting into it and talking about who I work for and all of that. So, just take my word for it. I'm a billing agent. <laughs> so... Um, I decided I was going to go into accounting because that's basically what I do. I do low level accounting right now. So, um, the semester is over and I'm pleased to report that I, uh, in my first semester back, I got an A in both of the classes that I'm taking, um, that I, w that I was taking. Um, I was taking accounting 101, the basic accounting um, principles class, and I got a 95 in that overall. So I got 100 on the final exam, and like I got 100 on my homework all semester long um, because it's online and graded, and so it was it was like an immediate thing. And you got like a multiple, you got unlimited chances to do the homework. So <laughs> there's no reason why we shouldn't have a hundred homework grade. Like there's no reason for that. So. Um, I did that and I got like my quiz average was in, um, it was like a 90 quiz average, I think. So, um, somewhere around there, it wound up being a 90 quiz average. Um, excuse me. You only got one chance to take quizzes. So I wound up, uh, you know, a couple of quizzes there. I got like an 80 on them, which in today's grading scale is a B. And I'm like, what? This is, mm -mm. I'm used to, I'm used to that old school grading scale, <laughs> where 
where 85 to an 89 is a B, <laughs> not this 80 business. Like that's a C to me. So, um, but I got, I did really well on all of the exams. Um, like I turned in all the extra credit, like everything. So I was super excited about that. And, um, I was also taking management 101 and I got an A in that. I had a 98 average in that class. Uh, it was super easy. Like it was super easy. And I'm the type that if I read something, um, I retain like 98% of what I read. So, and if I read it multiple times, I've done really well. So, um, yeah, I had a, I thought that was, it was really easy for me. <laughs> it's a lot of reading. So anything with reading, yeah, I'm going to do really well on. So my, my grade point average for the semester is a 4.0, um, which I'm super excited. I only took class two, two, I only took two classes because, um, I'm working full time. I'm a full time employee now and the first time around when I was in this house and I was in college um I was a full-time student and I also worked part-time so the the fact that I'm now a full-time employee somewhere um I can't I can't go to school full-time and work full-time like that's just not gonna happen so I mean I could have done another class online but most people, they were like, if you're working full-time, we suggest that you only do two classes at most. That you focus on work and school and do as many classes as you can, but two is about the most you're going to be able to stand. Which, let me tell y'all, oh my god. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> school was wearing me out. School was wearing my black ass out. Do y'all understand me? Like, I was like, oh my God, like every week, um, because I usually would take Saturdays, like today, like today is Saturday. I would take to, like a Saturday to work on my homework and I had homework in both classes. Like I had to study and do things online. And cause like I said, my homework was online as was the quiz. And we had a quiz every week. So I had to do homework and quizzes every week. And oh my God. Then I'm like recopying my notes because, like I said, if I read it, if I'm reading through it and I read over it and I'm typing it up at the same time, I have to read through it as I'm typing it up. So it tends to stick a little bit better if I'm recopying it. Also, if I was recopying by hand, which I was, then I'd got the bright idea. Duh, Lindsay. Use, um, use, just type it up. Just type it up again. Like, why are we recopying this and having to do like pages and pages and pages? So I decided to start typing up my notes. Oh my God. Like <laughs> between all of that, plus trying to do, um, you know, trying to get the homework done and stay on top of things and help, um, the significant other. Cause he's also in school at the same time. Oh, we're getting to that in a minute too. Um, doing all of that, that's, it's time consuming and it's tiring. So by the end of the week on Friday, I would go home from work because I didn't have class on Fridays. I just had class. I had class Monday nights, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Oh, my God. I felt like I was going to fall out and die So <laughs> on Friday. So we wound up having to change date night. And so we would go out. We still tried to go out on Friday nights, but we tended to go out Thursday nights when I got out of class because his class was Monday and Wednesday. So, oh, my God. <laughs> So, um, the significant other, Mr. Brandon, um, he decided, I finally convinced him to go back to school and got him because that's what his parents were aiming for. His parents were aiming for him to go back to school too and get a degree in something. And I'm like, you should have been done this. Like, I don't understand what you were waiting on, but okay, fine. So we're going to go together. So he went back too, and he, um, he had to take, he had to do a math class because his math skills and his math grades over the years were terrible. I'm like, how did you get this far in life? You're almost 40 years old and you get this far in life and your math skills blow horribly. Like that doesn't make sense to me. So I'm like, no, sir, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to school. You can get a degree in something else and you're going to do well with it. So he took the math assessment at 
the school that we go to, because we both go to the same school. Um, he took the math assessment test, and he failed it horribly. So they put him in developmental math, which is exactly where he needed to be. Holy God, he needed to be in the developmental math, because his math skills are atrocious. So... Like we took the final, we took our finals on Wednesday. Like I had my one of my finals on Tuesday, and my other final was on Wednesday. His was also on Wednesday. Like on Wednesday, we were still having trouble with substituting for X and Y. Like I'm like, what is the problem here? Why can't we substitute for X and Y? What What do we not understand about this? And why are we waiting till the end of the semester to be like, I don't understand how to substitute for X and Y? Like, what in the world? And then how you get on the test, you do well outside of it. You do the homework because you get multiple chances to do the homework for his stuff, too. You get multiple chances to do the homework. We still doing homework up until the end of the semester, which that wasn't supposed to be like that. And you get down here and you get on the test and you freeze up. Like, what? Come on, man. So we did all of these note cards and stuff, and I told him, I said, all you got to do, we've got your homework grade straight. Your homework grade is 100 now, okay? All you have to do is get a 70 on the final exam, and you will pass this class with a B. How about this fool got a 72 on the exam? I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Oh, my God. He frustrates me to no end because... It's like basic math, and you can sit up here and tell me about goddamn Mega Man, and you can tell me about voice actors in Japan, but you can't tell me how to calculate sales tax on something, or how to calculate, like, basic tipping and <laughs> sales discounts. You can't tell me how to graph something on a graph, but you can tell me about Mega Man? No, okay? No. No, no, and no. You're going to learn how to do this damn math. And I don't want to hear nothing. And I told him early on this semester, I was like, I do not want to hear another goddamn word about no anime or no Mega Man or no fucking voice actors. Okay? I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that. Because there's no reason that you can't get your math right. But you can sit up here and tell me about voice actors and anime. Th no. <laughs> okay? No. Because I was very much about to be like, no, we are not going to any cons this year. Nothing. Because you can't get this math right. This don't make sense. Like, it don't make sense. I don't understand that. And it's because I'm an overachiever. It is. I'm an overachiever. And I expect people around me to be on my level, uh, at least somewhere near my level of learning and desire to learn. Okay? I know that people learn differently. They learn in different ways. They understand things differently than other people. But, for fuck's sake. Like, do not tell me you this damn old and you can't calculate basic real world math. Okay? I'm like, so how do you know when somebody's not overcharging you at the register? And he's like, so he just makes this face. And I'm like, right, because you wouldn't know that they were overcharging you at the register. Because you don't know how to calculate it. <laughs> oh my God. Like, what? That's crazy. So, yeah. The, the fact that we got him to a B in this math class this is the first math class he's ever taken that he's gotten a B in that I know of in his college career. We have done a miracle here, okay? Y'all understand me? I need to get a medal for this. <laughs> the amount of work that was put into this and gotten him to this point, we need a medal. Somebody need to give me something for Christmas. Because Christmas coming up in about two weeks or so. Yeah. About two weeks. Because it's, yeah. 14 days. So, yeah. I need a medal. Somebody need to come in here and they need to hook me up. Unbelievable. So, school has gone well. I was pleasantly surprised. I was anticipating it would go well. But I wasn't sure. I was scared. Because, like I said, I haven't been in school in 13 years. And I was just, I was worried I wasn't going to do well. And um, I was worried that I was going to be behind and I wasn't going to be able to keep up with the other kids. And, you know, my old ass is in this class with a bunch of 18-year-olds who are looking at me like, wow, she's old. 
Also, forgive me, I have a cold. Um, I have a reoccurring cold for some reason. It will not go away. It went away, it came, it went away, and now it's back. So, I'm kind of, ugh. And all closed up and ugly sounding. Um, anyway, so yeah. I And I wasn't, I actually was in a class full of working people. Um, my class was at uh, 6 until 7.25. And um, I had a lot of people in that class who had full-time jobs as well. So... I wasn't the only one in there, and I I felt much better about that. Like, um, one of my friends in the class, um, excuse me, one of my friends in the class, (laughs) she uh, worked for Home Depot, and um, she was also in my management class, and uh, so, like, she worked a full-time job, but she's, like, 10 years younger than me. (laughs) I felt so old. (laughs) Um, when I found out how old she was, but, um, yeah, everybody in that class pretty much were full-time, they worked full-time, and was going to school at night, so, um, yeah, school's going well. Uh, next semester, I'm taking Accounting 102, it's the only class I'm going to be taking, um, because what's going to happen is, the school that I'm at right now, I'm not getting a degree from them, I'm taking classes there to transfer to the school I'm eventually getting my degree from. That's also in Columbia. Uh, so I'm I'm just taking a few classes at um, this one school, and then I'm going to transfer over and finish. So I have total 48 hours to take to get my degree, my second degree. I have done six this semester. And I'm doing three next semester, so I'll have a total of nine by the time I go to transfer to uh, this new school, this other school. Um, And then I'll have 39 there to do. So, if I could just, uh, you know, (laughs) get the hell out of there. If I'm taking, it's going to take me like three years to finish. um, Because, bros, let me tell you. Um... (laughs) I can only do two a semester, so if I do two a semester and then go in the summertime, um, that's like um, five a year, five classes a year, I have 13 to take, so it's going to take me three years, Um, give or take minus a semester or so, it's going to take me about two and a half years to do it, Um, because I'm trying to do, I'm not going this summer. Also coming up, like, uh, 2017, I'm not going in the summer of 2017, I'm going in the, um, the fall of, um, 2017 is when I'm going to start up again after this spring. So I'm skipping the summer, I'm going to take the summer off. Um, so, yeah, I have 13 classes to take after this spring, and, uh, it's going to take me forever. It's going to take me forever. Um, if I can do five a year, yeah, that's about two years and some change. Um, two and a half years, probably. So, if it's 2016, the end of 2016 now, give or take two and a half years, it'll take me until about 2019 to finish. Uh, which is about right. I figured it was going to take me about 2019. Also, um, I'm using financial aid. Um, and I'm being reimbursed at work. They do a tuition reimbursement, uh, plan and they reimburse you up to like $5,250 a year. So I can, um, I can do it. I just, I can't spend a whole ton of money. I can't do a whole ton of money. Like I have to go exactly two classes and then pay for the summer semester, (laughs) Pay for the summer semester out of my pocket and not use any financial aid. Well, I could, I could do, I could pull it out of my pocket, but I can't be reimbursed. So I'd have to just pull it out of my pocket. Like that's just going to be one on me. So that's in order to finish fast enough. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I think this is going to be good. I think I'm going to enjoy having a career in accounting. I do it already. Um, I also handle our bills at home. I make sure things are paid on time. I do the budget at home. 
Like, I can do all the budget forecasting and all of that. And I understand the accounting stuff. It's taxing, but I can understand it. Like, I understand the difference between debits and credits and um, what has a normal balance for a debit and... Um, what has a normal da- normal deb what has a normal balance for a credit journal entries um calculating uh you know various financial analysis things i'm i've got the basis of that i look forward to taking the ones that are like where you learn how to use excel to do your spreadsheets and um quickbooks and oh i'm looking forward to that <laughs> the computer applications of everything oh i want to do that i want to do that so bad Cause I know how to, I mean, I know stuff already and I do it already. Like I, and I get it. Like I understand how to do it. So I look forward to that. Like I really look forward to that. Um, so, um, other than that school and, oh, we have to get into what happened at work. So, um, I can't really, like I say, I, I can't really say where I work, but, um, this year, uh, earlier in the year, Well, even before, it was like last year in August, August of 2015, I had applied for a promotion. Um, At my job, we have levels. Everyone starts at what's called an A1. You come in as as associate one, all right? That's like basic everybody. Like, you fresh in off the street, you don't know anything about anything, okay? So I came in as an A1. Well... Over the two and a half years, I have, um, I mean, I've taught myself a lot of things. I have um, gone from not knowing anything about the business. I've done very well in all my assessments downstairs, um, which there's no longer a quote unquote downstairs. Um, (laughs) They moved everybody who was downstairs upstairs. Um, And I have... um, I had excelled at my job, like excelled. I was at the point where I was teaching other agents when they first started. I, when they came up into our department, I, uh, teach new billing agents and, um, show them the ropes, give them tips. I've trained numerous people in our department. So, um, I applied for a promotion because in our company, you have to apply for a promotion and they give you an interview just like it's your interviewing for the job itself um like when you first interviewed for your to to start with the company so my interview it took us it was ridiculous we had this interview in april at the end of april we applied in august okay they had talked about it before that when i went to um i went to atlanta on business to learn how to, to build a, a specific account, a very large national account too, mind you. So I went to Atlanta and about the time I went to Atlanta, they started talking about um, doing um, doing the, the learning how to do the billing and we're going to start talking about promotions and if you want to apply for that. <laughs> so I did. I waited and waited and waited and waited. It didn't actually happen until August when they posted the jobs, okay, so I looked at the qualifications and was like, uh, I know I'm not an A2, Uh, I'm, I have surpassed everything that's in A2, I then looked at A3, and I was like, well, hmm, I meet every qualification in the A3, maybe I ought to think about this, then I was encouraged to look at A4, and I was like, wait a minute, nope, I'm not an A4, don't know enough to be an A4, A4 has to know a lot of things you got to know a lot about different sections of the business like i have billing then there's the opening of uh accounts then there's the um the keying in of accounts these are all separate uh separate departments from what i do okay billing handles the, the end of it okay so i was like i don't know enough about the other departments to be able to do this I've had a, what I was told was a broad overview, so you wouldn't know it enough about to do this anyway. I was like, never mind the fact that you could have taught me, but fine, whatever. So, I wound up looking, I didn't apply for A4, because I was like, I can't, I don't know enough to be an A4. 
So I applied for uh, the A3 position. And I had to bring my resume in. And um, we talked. We had an interview. Um, that was in April. April, like, the 26th, I think, or something like that. April 24th. It was at the very end of April. I remember that. Um, and then I got because I remember getting dressed up and I mean, I treated it like it was a big deal. It was a big deal. Um, they were looking to see what I knew. They knew I knew the technical side of things because again, I'd been teaching new agents by this point, but they wanted to see what my composure was, what kind of, okay, we know she can do the technical side. Does she have the human side of it? Does she have the conceptual side of it? It was stuff I learned in the management class. So, <laughs> so step below a management position. Um, so I was like, yeah, I got all of that. Don't worry about that part. What you need to know is how would I deal with certain things? Am I ready for this step in between just a desk level agent and a, um, and a manager? So... I got the position I applied for and was promoted to an A3 from an A1, which is significant because most people do not make that leap. They have to go A1, A2, A3. You can't be skipping levels. So the fact that I went from an A1 to an A3, it also helped that I had management experience previously. And I explained, I mean, they knew that before the interview, but I explained it again for the benefit of the folks in the back who didn't get it the first time. I was like, yes, I've had management experience. It did not go well. <laughs> Here's why. <laughs> I mean, I was just honest. And I said, I need that middle step. I don't, I can't go from an A1 to an A4. I need that because an A4 is a team lead. And you are, you are looked at as part of management um, of the department. And I was like, I can't do that. Like, I can't. That was part of the problem right there. <laughs> like, that was part of the problem the first time around. And I told him, I said, I know enough. I can, I can, I can have your people right when they come up on this floor, okay? When you call them into a meeting and you ask them about things, I can come in there with them and I can coach them through it and have them telling you exactly what they need, what you need to know about this account. Also, I can have your people ready and knowledgeable in a short amount of time. But what I can't do is lead a department and be a team lead. I could probably in the technical side of it, but not the human side of it. I have not gotten that exposure to management and management practices enough for me to be able to be a manager in your department and lead your team. Not like that. So, and I told him, I said, give me, give me two years. Let me finish my degree. And then let's talk about making me an A4. Okay. Then we can talk about what do you know? <laughs> like I'm going to have the human side of it, but I might not necessarily have the, the, the technical side, but come back to me then and ask me what I know. Okay. Then we can talk about whether or not I'm ready for that promotion or not. I, I I felt I would feel better with him doing that, with my manager doing that. So, um, yeah, they were very pleased. Um, when they made the offer to me, it was like a week before my birthday, which means it was a week before. Um, it was a week, it was exactly my two year anniversary with the company. Um, and I said. <laughs> This is exactly two years from the day that I started here in training. And they were like, well, this is a two-year present because we want to make you an offer for this A3. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was so surprised. I was like, dude, what now? Right. So let's look at this. I'm surprised. Like, well, thank you. Like, I, I mean, I, I, I was genuinely touched because, I mean, I felt like, I felt like I was ready for that leap and I felt like I know enough to be dangerous. Okay. <laughs> I know enough. I can get the work done. I know how my job flows. I know how other people's job flows in there, but I can get the work done and I work best by myself and on projects. Like I told them, I was like, my strength is not working well with others. Okay. It's, it's not. 
that I can teach people, but that's not my main strength. My main strength is you give me work, it gets done. Not only does it get done, it gets done correctly. And it's been done in a fairly reasonably fast amount of time. Oh, and I'm going to go and do my research on it. When you ask me, go, Lindsay, go look into this and find out what's going on. <laughs> you can be rest assured, I will go look into something and find out what's going on. <laughs> and come back and tell you exactly what I found. So, and I do my research and I'm very thorough about doing my research and finding out what's going on. I can't stand no half done research. I can't stand that shit. That gets on my nerves. I'm like, what are you people doing? Did you go look into this before you made a judgment call? No, you didn't. This is what we need to be doing, <laughs> okay? If anybody had bothered to do any research, they would have found. So that's why I was like, nah. That's what you need to have me working on. You need to have me on the ground, boots on the ground, background research, behind the scenes. I'm fantastic at that. I know that's my strength. My weaknesses, I'm not on time for things, okay? <laughs> like, try as I might, I'm not going to be on time. And I told them this. I was like, let me tell you what my strengths and weaknesses are. My weaknesses are punctuality. And look, I try. The struggle that it is to get to work on time every day, it is hard as hell, okay? It is hard for me. It, it is hard getting up in the morning. It's hard getting the, myself going, getting ready to get here. Once I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> like You ain't got to worry about, is Lindsay here or not? Is she doing her work? Is she focused on what she's doing? You ain't got to worry about that part. Now, sometimes I might be a little, but that's, I mean, everybody's like that from time to time. But my thing is, get me here, we good. Okay? So, once they heard all of that, and I told them, I said, and dealing with people, okay? Let me tell you about dealing with people. For the most part, I get along with 99.9% .9 of the people in this building. Most of the people I don't even know, because I've never worked over in the other side of the building that handles the keying of things. I ain't work with them, so I don't know them. But my people on my team and on this side of the office, I get along with 99.9% .9 of them. There might be three people that I absolutely do not like and would not work with. And I would tell you well in advance who it was. So you would know, don't put Lindsay on a team with them because it's not going to work. It's not going to end well. And even if you did put me on a team with them, okay, I'll just suck it up and do it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, this is not, look, my need for a dollar is more than my hatred of somebody else, <laughs> okay? Like, my need to make money and pay my bills because I just got this new car is far greater than my dislike and hatred of somebody else in this building. Okay? Trust me on that. I, we will suck it up and we'll put a smile on our face every time you see me. So, because one of the questions that they asked in the interview was, how would you deal with how, people you don't get along with? And I was like, well, we already know how that works because there's quite a few people over here that I don't get along with. And we know why. It ain't because of me. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it that came up, and I answered the question, and I told him, I said, well, we've already dealt with this. So I'll just tell you, I just don't work with them. I don't have the interaction with them, and I limit my interaction with them. Why put myself in that situation? Why? There's no need to put myself in the situation where I can be coerced into and forced into making an ass of myself and being ridiculous. Like, there's no need for that. So, um, anyway, yeah. Needless to say, I got the promotion. So, um, I'm happy. So, when we finish this degree, we may or may not stick with where I work with because I would like to go make money, which they really don't pay me a whole lot of. Uh, I really want to make money, and I really want to put this degree to good use. So, um, and in accounting, you can make money, okay? You got to know what you're doing, but you got, you can make money if you know what you're doing. So I feel like I will be good at this and I'm going to go talk to also, there's a CPA, uh, a certified public accountant who, um, has an office. He used to have an office down the street from where I work. 
So I'm going to go talk to him and see about working in his office um, in the mornings, maybe. Because I also changed my schedule next semester. Um, instead of doing the 7 to 4 that I do now and that I've been doing for two years, I'm going to be 10 to 7 because my class is from um, like 8 to 9.25 in the morning. It was the only class that I could get that was at a reasonable amount of time. And I didn't want to do it online. It's one of the ones you can't do it online. Don't do it online. You need to be in class. So, um, yeah, I decided to change my schedule and do this. And then after that, I'm probably going to change my schedule back. Oh, So this 10 to 7, I think I'm going to like it because 10 to 7 was my ideal work time anyway. Um, I feel better getting to work at 10 and working with those type of hours because I'm awake. I can naturally wake up and get up and be to work on time, like every day if I so chose to be with those hours. So yeah, I'm gonna have, I'm happy about that. Um, Mr. Brandon's class is going to be, uh, the six to seven twenty five at night. Um, and we're also going to the same campus because the school that we go to has multiple campuses. We're going to the same campus. Um, this year so uh, I mean this this upcoming semester we're just going to be there at different times on the same days so um, by the time though I get off from work um, he will be getting out of class so I'm, I'm hoping this will we'll see each other a little bit better um, and um, I'll be glad to get school out of the way in the morning and um, and because I only go to class Mondays and Wednesdays of uh, this upcoming semester, so um, Wednesday that means Wednesday after Wednesday I'll have all week long to do my homework, which is great. So, you know, I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to get it done. Um, make sure it's turned in by Monday. So we'll see. I'm I'm excited about this upcoming semester. And with work a little bit. I have more responsibilities, of course, with the promotion. but And more money. I did get more money. That was helpful. I ain't even going to lie. I got bills. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, other than that, I've been wedding planning. Um, because the mister and I are slowly approaching that wedding date. <laughs> and he refuses to move it up. So, okay, we set a wedding date. We set a wedding date. And I really want to do my series for my wedding planning. I want to do my, my series for my wedding planning. Um, I'm not going to start too early because our wedding our wedding date is April 11th, 2020. Okay. Well, if y'all know what year it is, it's 2016. It's the end of 2016. So, I'm kind of like, ugh. Like, <laughs> we have three and a half years before we get married. What in the world? <laughs> so that's plenty of time to get started on that wedding series. I probably will start maybe at the two-year mark when we have two years to go. Um, also, because I, we set our wedding date um, right before our what would be our, like our anniversary of when we started dating. Because we started dating April 15th, 2013. So... We will have been together by that point, like seven years before we actually get married. So I was like, man, can we please move this up, man? Can we make it 2019? That would be great because I would be almost finished with school. Like I would be getting married like a month before I finished school. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is take our anniversary. We'll, what we'll do is we'll get married in 2019 and then... Um, because I will have been, um, which is where I work, but, um, I will have been working there for five years. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, I will have been working there for five years at that point. So yes. And I do, I didn't really want to, that was kind of a slip of the tongue, but yes, I work. I just. I'm not going to say which part of it that I work in. I mean, I you know that I do billing for it, but there's parts of it that 
include that too and different locations that include that. And I mean, you know where I work here. So let's just say I work in the, the billing department. So, um, and it's not bad. I just can't really say too much else about it. And I don't tend to talk about internal things that go on because reasons. Um, and we definitely will not be discussing who and what we do. <laughs> okay. Who and what we do things for. That is a no, no. We do not discuss that. So, um, yeah, don't go running and telling people that that's who I work for and you know something about things with accounts and things because you don't know. <laughs> and you will never hear me mention things that I know. So, yeah, no. Um, but, yeah, I I will have been working there five years at that point. So, hopefully, I will... Um, I will... Um, I will have some vacation time saved up. I can um I can have some money saved up and we can pl- start planning the wedding and I can start my series probably mm, I don't know. I don't know, maybe at the 2 year mark, probably. So, we're going to see how well that goes and uh get things set up and um I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I'm I'm kind of I don't know, I'm kinda like I, I really I'm torn between I really want to get started now and I kinda wanna do it, but I kinda don't want to do it. Like I don't want to get started right at the moment. So I don't know. I don't know. Also I was thinking about it also. I'm probably going to bleep out the name of that company (laughs) that I work for. Probably going to bleep that out. So if you're watching this and you're at this point now, yeah, that's probably bleeped out. Um, And it won't take me very long to do it. It won't. I can edit video very well. So, (laughs) oops. (laughs) Um, So, yeah, I don't know. Um, We'll see. We'll see. Um, pretty much that's all that's going on with me. Um, oh, uh, the house stuff here. I officially own part of the house with my aunt. Uh, my mama's half of it went through in probate, and um, uh, she had listed me in the will as um wanting to give me her half of the house, so I own her half of the house now. Um, so I'm officially a homeowner again. Yay. Um, I'm trying to think what else is going on with me. Um, I know I said we're going to do season three, season three, season three. We're still in season three. Um, season four, I don't know. This might be the start of season four or maybe the next episode. I am promising I'm going to try to do more videos in 2017 I promise I'm gonna try to do more in 2017 2015 and 2016 were so hectic and crazy and that you guys noticed I didn't get a whole lot done so 2014 of course is when I moved back home and we got a bunch of videos done then so we've kind of been in season three now for four years <laughs> we really should have been in season we should have been in season three for four years <laughs> We should really be on like season six now. <laughs> so um I'm gonna try to do more videos and get that together. Um I'm gonna try. I really am. I'm just school has kicked my ass, to be quite honest, and maintaining that A average is hard work. I, and let me tell you, this is not easy. <laughs> so <laughs> it's not easy being this damn smart either. So, <laughs> that's why I say I'm like, dude, like, I, I kind of have to um, get myself together and get things, I, I have to, I've also put GI on hold and on hiatus, and it's been on hiatus for like a year, so I'm trying to start it back up in 2017, and I'm trying to get myself right, but of course it's December, and I'm not even close to finish for the upcoming um 
the upcoming issue, so which we were supposed to be launching in January 2017, because I put it on hold at the beginning of 2016. So I'm hoping we can do something with that. Um, we're also, I'm going out tonight, we're celebrating our grades, and um, we're celebrating, it's almost Christmas, and we're done with the semester, so I'm super excited about that. <laughs> We are supposed to go out last night, and I was kind of like, yeah, right. So we're not going out, right? <laughs> One, I feel awful. And two, I don't really want to go out anywhere. Like, I don't. I feel awful. I haven't felt so sick. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's that's all that's, that's going on with me. Um, oh, I know what else. Before I go, so I was told a few things. Things have changed quite a bit in a year. So that same friend of ours that used to live with us, um, that, that I had said we would probably never be friends with again. Yeah, we're still never going to be friends with that dude, but it turns out, boy, he was doing some fuck boy shit. <laughs> like he was talking about us. Like he would go and talk about us and diss us. And then like he wound up, um, stealing this friend of his and mutual friend of ours, his girlfriend. And then he was like stealing stuff from that girl and like selling her shit, <laughs> selling it back to her. Like that's messed up. Like he was selling her shit, getting the money and then giving her the money. What in the world? Like, what are you doing? That's so crazy. Like, wow. So then had to escape to New York, not escape from New York, but escape to New York um, because, like, he got ran out of town. Like, he caused this girl to lose her job, all kinds of stuff. Like, crazy. Like, crazy. <laughs> I was like, bruh, if I never see you again, oh my God, if I see you again, I'm going to beat your ass on general principle for that girl. And I don't even know her like that. Like, that's messed up. <laughs> Unbelievable. Like, we didn't realize, well, I mean, we realized there was something going on, but I didn't realize it was that kind of level of crazy. Like, right, no, mm -mm. can't do that. Mm -mm. So, um, yeah, no, <laughs> bro, no. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, I don't know. That was terrible. Um, but yeah, we found that out a couple of weeks ago. We were at, um, Bonsai Con and a friend of ours, a mutual friend of ours, the, the guy whose girlfriend was stolen from him. Um, <laughs> he told us that when he stopped talking to some mutual friends of ours who just apparently just cut him off for no reason. And I'm like, but she treated you like crap anyway. So why are you surprised? <laughs> like I wouldn't have stood for that foolishness. Because she wouldn't have talked to me any old kind of way. And she wouldn't have treated me like that. And had me running around doing stuff for her for nothing in return. What? No. She know better than that foolishness. Like, she know better. Um, <laughs> she know real better. I don't play that. Um, and then on top of that, like, said girl seems to think that I still want her boyfriend, who used to be my boyfriend many, many ages ago when I was in college. Um, I'm like, I haven't been with this dude in 12 years. I don't know. He, no, mm -mm. <laughs> no, what, what, what make you think I want him? Like I'd rather be on my own than fool with him ever again. He's not my, mm -mm, no. And he's not that attractive anymore. Like he doesn't let himself go. And, and I mean, look, I ain't choosy and I'm not a picky person either. I'm really not. I don't be looking at people for their looks and I don't be picky and choosy like that. But there's something said to be said for taking care of yourself and doing something for yourself. And he's not done any of that. Like, and he's content with the status quo, which is fine for somebody else. But for me, that's not okay. Like, I don't think that's an okay, acceptable solution. So, no, I don't want him. And not only that, I used to be engaged to the dude. Like, I, no, I very nearly married him. We we were engaged right before I met, I broke up with him 
I met my ex-husband and I married my ex-husband. No. <laughs> like, no. There's a reason why we broke up. So, no. Then, um, also, for some reason, she seems to think that I don't know that she was messing with my ex-husband. And I'm like, fuck you thought for 500, Alex. Do you think I really don't know that, right? Wrong. I absolutely know that for a fact. And I wasn't born yesterday. I also am not going to stand for that foolishness. No, ma'am. So if you want to mess with the crazy, you go right ahead. <laughs> go right ahead. I am not going to deal with you, and I am not going to deal with him. Speaking of which, he also um, keeps popping up in the people I may know section on Facebook, and I'm like, I unfortunately know this person, but that doesn't mean I want to see this person constantly popping up in there. I've also been unblocked on Facebook, and I've, for some reason, he was looking at my profile on LinkedIn. I'm like, why? What? what? Why are you looking at my profile on LinkedIn? You know who it is. <laughs> like, you know where I've worked. Hell, half the jobs I've had. Matter of fact, three-fourths of the jobs I've had, I was married to you when I had them. Like, the only one that I didn't have is the one that I work now. So, why are you so interested in what it is I'm doing? Why? What you want to know for? You didn't want to, look, you didn't want to be married to me no more. Why are you interested in what it is I'm doing right now? Hmm? What you interested for? There ain't no reason for you to be interested. You didn't care about me, so you don't care about my dollars. You don't care where I work at. You don't care what it is I do for a living now. And I purposely told him when I emailed him to tell him that my mama had died. I was like, look, <laughs> look. I'm going to need you to stop following my friends on in, on social media, first of all, because they know who you are and they know what you did. Stop it. And on top of that, I've changed careers now, <laughs> okay? I completely changed careers. I have changed my life since being with you. Don't want to see you anymore. I don't want to talk to you after I send you this email to let you know that somebody who took care of your lazy ass is dead I don't want to hear from you ever again. I don't want to see you. I don't want to talk to you. Nothing. I don't want nothing to do with you. You ruined my life. You lied to me every day for seven years. I don't want nothing to do with you. Nothing. There's, there's nothing we have to talk about <laughs> at this point. Nothing. We don't have any children in common. We don't have property in common. The only thing that we have in common is that my last name used to be yours. That's it. <laughs> we shared a house together for, you know, seven years until you decided to go play Houdini. Get that fuck out of here. No, I don't want to talk to you. You're a jerk. <laughs> so I don't know why he insists upon like looking at my profile on LinkedIn and trying to see what's going on with me. I guess because he wanted to see it. I wonder if I changed my last name, if I had gotten married yet or not. I don't know. I'm like, even if I had, like, what's it to you? You don't care. <laughs> you don't care about me. And I really wish you blocked me again so I stopped showing up in the people you may know. <laughs> like, Stop, because I'm pretty sure if you're showing up in my people you may know, I'm showing up in yours. So, let's pretend you don't know me. <laughs> let's pretend, because uh, I certainly pretend I don't know you, unless it calls for things when I have to give my status, at which point I say divorced, quickly. Or I say engaged to someone else, <laughs> and imminently getting married if I had my way. So. No, I just, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, but I'm like, stop it. Both of you, stop it. She's okay in small doses. He is not. Very small doses. Like, you know, tiny doses. Not that big. Not that big. I just, I can't, because I can't. The need to almost punch someone in the throat constantly means I shouldn't probably be around you. Because <laughs> every time you open your mouth, I'm sitting there looking at you like, 
you tried to sleep with my husband. I'm going to punch you in the throat. <laughs> like, the whole time, I'm just sitting there looking at her like, I'm going to punch you in the throat. I'm going to so punch you in the throat. I don't like you. And you, for some reason, still seem to think that I want your boyfriend. <sighs> Never mind the fact that the man I'm going to marry is literally sitting here next to me. Like, sitting here next to me. <laughs> like, we live together for crying out loud. So, no. Um. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. But, anyway. Alright, so, I'm going to go. Um. I'm going to probably post this video up. And hopefully we will, for the new year, start doing more videos. Um... I need to do a video about when I met my sister's in-law, my future sister's in-law, um, and what happened with the uh, the birthday situation and the wedding <laughs> that we attended. Yeah, that was yeah. Um, I didn't get into what happened with the uh, with the with the the sisters in law um, because that that's a video by itself. So. Yeah, at some point I'm going to do a video about that and um, the, the current state of things. So, I'm going to go now because I ran out of video space, apparently. Um, and we'll see you guys later. So, um, thanks for watching and have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs>